Hello everybody. In this video, we shall discuss loops versus recursion. Basically, what does a loop do and how does the same thing or the same exact solution can be reached using recursion. Basically, loop can be considered as a form of repeating a set of instruction and those instructions shall be repeated until a certain condition is met. Now, for recursion also, a similar kind of process occurs where the recursive function continues to call itself until the base condition or the condition to stop the recursion hasn't been met. So, we will now go through a brief example of loop versus recursion where we will live code a iterative solution to a particular pattern and then do the same thing using recursion. Okay, for this particular example we are using Jupyter Notebook so let us begin now for the iterative solution so basically in this we will basically print the word hello world four times now this just commenting it so let us begin the for loop. Now what this statement will do, the first statement for C in range 1 to 5. So what it, this statement will do is that it will iterate four times one two three four and after that the loop ends and each time this first statement is implemented it goes into the second statement and the hello world is printed now let us execute it see now four times the hello world is printed as this is a for loop in python it will implement till 4 it won't reach it won't go till 5 so it will implement for 1 2 3 4 and after that the loop ends in because we are using this range now let us implement the same exact thing through recursion Now to implement it, whenever we are implementing something using recursion, we have to keep in mind that we must always have a base condition or a condition uh, which should end the recursive call. Because if we do not have the base condition or the condition that ends the recursive call, it will go on infinitely, kind of like an infinite for loop or a while loop. Like here in this example, as soon as the fourth iteration is completed, this loop ends. So here also we will provide a similar condition for recursion. Let us define this function as hello. And as parameter, we are giving x and c where the x denotes the string hello world and the c denotes the counter. Now, if the counter reaches the value of 5, then end this recursive call. Basically, return is used to end the function. Else, what we have to do is print x and 
set the recursive call of x comma c plus 1 here we are using an explicit assumption that the value of c will always be less than 5 and just to demonstrate how a recursive example can be uh, uh, like a recursive uh, function can be used to implement the same exact output as a iterative one we are setting these parameters now let us set the recursive call and here for the counter we set it as 1 as in this for loop we had set here from 1 to 5 here we are setting it to 1 the counter is set to 1 as soon as it reaches 5 it will end the recursive call now let us run it see you can see four times the hello world is printed now as in this example let me just as in this example you can see the same exact functionality is done using a for loop and the same output is again obtained using recursion basically it is up to you as uh, the user to set the condition for which the output is got using recursive as well as iterative method. I hope this gives you a brief idea regarding how to implement the same solution using recursive and iterative methods. Thank you.